hey guys welcome back to my channel today i will be trying on a piece that Uniwig sent me i have already done a video but i kind of want to straighten my hair fully um this is my bio hair i just dyed it the day that i filmed that last video from this piece i dyed my hair red so we're gonna see how we can conceal the red hair camouflage it i don't know we're about to find out you and i so we're going to get straight into this video but first i'm going to straighten my hair off camera that way we can incorporate my bio hair and the piece that you know sent me so i'll be right back my hair is a hot mess but this is what it's looking like i have very thin hair but my hair is pretty curly it's a little frizzy right now i have no product in my hair so let's get to straightening so while i straighten my hair i'm going to share again the name of the piece that you know it sent me the one that i will be trying on on top of my red hair um, they sent me a 9x9 nine nine Savannah Silk Top Remy Human Hair Topper in the color Natural Black with Brown Shade. So, again, it's not going to match my current hair color. The length is a 16 inch and the density is 130%. So, it would be nice if they had a red color like this. I haven't looked on their site, but they probably do. They have so many pieces so let me finish my hair off camera and i'll be right back to try on the uniwigs okay so this is my hair straightened i wish i brought my dry shampoo because i think i had put on some hair oil a couple of days ago maybe yesterday or some keratin spray so it's looking extra shiny um, and it's like really flat so um, I don't have my dry shampoo with me I'm in my studio so we're gonna work with what we got so let's grab our Uniwigs little thumbnail moment and we're gonna try to work with this because again it's not gonna match my hair color um, let's brush this through this is such a pretty pretty piece I love how the scalp looks very natural focus <laughs> and we're gonna straighten this piece too so I kind of want to tease my hair a little bit I'm going to brush this back because the piece that I have has a comb in the front here. So let's kind of tease the hair there. I don't want to expose any of my hair if possible. This has really nice coverage, 9 by 9 That is amazing. So comb first. There. we're going to tease it a little bit scoop it up and clip hold your topper lay it flat tease scoop clip other side tease scoop clip so it's gonna be I mean maybe it, maybe it'll work I don't know we're going to pretend like I have red highlights, red under highlights. So we're going to straighten my, you know, wig stopper. When it's straight, it's so soft. Look how beautiful that hair is. Super pretty. Super shiny, soft. I think it's going to work out because this red goes with this dark piece. So, 
super cute. I think it's gonna work out. I was a little skeptical and worried that my bio hair, due to the fact that it's red, wasn't going to look good with this topper, but I think it is. So I'm just running some heat through this to straighten it. If you want to tweeze more of the part, you can do that. But I don't think I will be doing that today. Just to look here. A little closer in the mirror. Okay, I'm going to finish this off camera and I will be right back. Alright, this is what the Uniwigs looks like with my red hair. And I like that kind of like peekaboo style with the red on the bottom. I did curl the ends of my hair and the topper so that it can combine nicely. What do you think? I love it. I think it looks amazing. Let's see the back. It is so so pretty I love the look actually what do you think I love it you can put it up if you like show the red as well intertwined Oh, I love this. Look at that. Beautiful. So there you have it. You guys can use my code. I will be leaving that information in the description box below. Just fix this here. Make sure you click on the link. Use my code at checkout. Check them out on Instagram. I'll be leaving their Instagram as well. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. I have two Instagrams. My main page is at Liz Low Glam. And my skincare page is at Liz Low Glow. So go check me out. And I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I sure did. I love the combination of both. So thank you guys. See you guys on the next one. Bye. I just want to do a little bonus clip because... I brought a piece that I was sent a while back. I don't recall what piece this is. So if Uniwigs sees this and you know what piece this is, make sure you let the viewers know. What I did is I dyed this piece with the extra hair dye that I had left over the day that I dyed my hair. But I didn't have enough, so when I retouch my hair, I'm going to retouch this piece too because there's still some brown spots, as you can tell. Um, so I just wanted to put this on, though, to show you guys that these pieces are so amazing because this one here took the hair dye. So... I would have to straighten this too because I dyed it and I washed it and now I just need to straighten it and I, ch I need to re-dye it again because I don't want to leave that brown patch on the crown of the head there. But this one blends in almost perfectly with my hair, I just got to retouch it. This one does have a smaller diameter, so if you do have very thin hair on the crown of your head, then this may not be it for you. You may want to get something like the one I just tried on, the Savannah 9x9. It has a lot of coverage.
And there we have it. Bring it behind the ears. What do you think? This one matches my hair, obviously, because I dyed this piece. But the Savannah is gorgeous. So check them out. Bye.